Thank you for all the support and appreciation for the last iceberg video. The response was very intense and wonderful, and I'm glad that people liked it. With all the many, 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 many mistakes I made with the last video. To thank you all, I've decided to make a second iceberg video containing topics I forgot in the previous video. However, I have to give a disclaimer in this video. Some topics in the video contain stuff that relates to Jack's life with people and situations. Please don't bother or harass anyone associated with this iceberg video. Thanks. Before I start though, I need to give a big thanks to the Jack Starver community for helping on this new video with topics and voices you'll hear later in the video. I can't thank the Discord and other social media groups enough. Let's begin. Giant Hiatus If you're a Jack Starver fan at the moment, you will notice that there really hasn't been anything new yet. It's been 8 months since he's released Opal, and almost a year since Goldie, his latest video, has been uploaded. This is due to Hiatus based off of his efforts on Opal and him trying new things. He's been uploading new videos to Patreon and is hopefully planning something big, but we can only tell when he'll come back. But he's made one new song we'll talk about called... It's okay. Moonstone. This is one of his latest songs that he released. Similar to Look On, this was released on a vinyl release of Hilo as a bonus exclusive song. As is, this song seems to differ from his other songs on the Hilo album, based on the previous statement on his new kind of music. This song is still amazing and would be a great step in his musical evolution. Reanimated Collapse. Hell, if I'm gonna cover prevalent Jack Starver content, I'll at least cover the Reanimateds. As egotistical as it may be. Being uploaded on September 28th, 2020, the Shop Repop Reanimated collab was uploaded. A reanimation is when a beloved or existing cartoon is recreated by a group of animators to recreate the cartoon, clip by clip. Shop Repop consisted of over 80 plus animators and exits here is Reopal. The successor to Shop Repop recreates Jack Starber's Opal with over 120 plus animators. Definitive Genre Type now, in most areas, Jack Starber's music would be filed under alternative or indie, as is for stuff like... However, some videos and songs seem to be more similar to other genres. Pop. Rock. Synth. ETC. People call his songs Avant Pop because of all the varieties of music. Either way, this doesn't affect his reputation as a talented singer. Untitled. Not that untitled, but this untitled. Uploaded onto his Tumblr and onto YouTube later on by Perry on January 19th, 2020. Untitled is a song that consists of a guitar riff along with voices that go in and out with barely incoherent words. Benny Worm Extended It's weird how many people commented in the last video how Benny Worm wasn't mentioned, so I'll do you one better. Benny Worm was one of Jack Starber's ordinary videos that he would upload. However, unlike other songs, it got an obscure extended version. During an improvised live show, Jack unexpectedly sang a longer version of Benny Worm, explaining how he wants to achieve the American dream. Down Mars Hall. Down Mars Hall is a Tumblr account that would seem to be normal at first, but something weird is in it. Around a certain time in Jack's career, he started to delete some songs from his Tumblr, but if you look at this Tumblr account, you can see that some lost songs from Jack's videos can be found on here. Strange. Cupid Leak. Before his extended songs are released, Jack will usually release the full version of the Micropop that were uploaded onto the YouTube channel, onto his Patreon. Out of the politeness of patrons, they don't like to release stuff from Patreon because of respect and encouragement for people to support Jack. But that doesn't stop some people. On June 27, 2019, a YouTuber by the name of Art Van Loser decided to upload the, at the time, unreleased extended version of Cupid and the alternative cut of Cupid, and eventually got backlash due to this. However, their defense to uploading the song is that he's a Patreon and that the video is copyrighted so Jack would get the money. 
Even with that, the video got massive backlash and everyone's opinion stands that either way, this was a terrible decision. The leaked extended version still remains on YouTube, but the alternative cut, however, was taken down. Lastly, the Cupid leak is commonly considered one of the most notable reasons why leaking Patreon content has become a rather common occurrence nowadays than it was in the past. Hey! If you're curious, you can look up Jack Starbert on IMDb with miscellaneous results to his Adult Swim work and some of his own work. However, one result seems out of the ordinary. Hey, when you look up this finding, the description reads, Four homeless millennials try to alleviate their boredom on the hottest day of eerie history. Did Jack help or act in a short film? However, with a little more searching, it's actually a fan music video of a Juice song, a band Jack was in, and the film was listed as Jack being a composer for it. Unreleased Shop Song Long before Shop, a pop-up broke, was greenlit by Adult Swim to be created, Jack had created a song as a sample for what Shop would potentially be like and what the miniseries could offer. This song was called Eggs, which would be an item that the protagonist would search for in the store, and the episode would have transitioned into a song, which would eventually be a thing in the final series. The song's main theme was centered around the famous paradox of what came first, the chicken or the egg. It is assumed that Adult Swim greenlit the show after hearing it. During the making of the series, a seventh episode about eggs would have likely been made. However, if it were to have been made, then there would have to be a shop episode for every day of the week, which eventually didn't happen, likely proving that there were original plans to make a seventh episode for eggs. The eggs song was uploaded onto Patreon on January 23rd, 2019, about a month and a half before a shop premiered. Internet boys. To be honest, I wanted to put this in because of how unknown it is. Internet Boys was a song uploaded to Tumblr by Jack Starbert, originally uploaded on January 15, 2018. It was then deleted for unknown reasons on an unknown date. It was then eventually rediscovered by someone around November 2020, found reblogged on another Tumblr account, along with a few other lost songs. This song, as of now, has both never been officially released anywhere, but is still to be officially re-uploaded somewhere. It is a great song that I'm surprised got deleted. Johnny Phillips Johnny Phillips is a cartoonist that has a somewhat good following, and they make uniquely animated videos, digitally and traditionally. Relating to Jack Starber, he collaborated with Johnny as a voice actor in their Stilton series. Hi everybody, welcome to church. It's me, your pastor. I'm just here to let you know that God is very real. Just this morning, he told me to go outside and look at the sky. So I did. I looked up in the sky, and there he was. Johnny Johnny Yes Papa Along with the L photo discussed in the last Iceberg video, another weird piece of Jack Starber trivia is his recreation of Johnny Johnny Yes Papa, a nursery rhyme that got popular in 2016. Made by Jack Starber and Dan Garcia in September 2018, it was posted to Dan's Instagram, but the account was later privated. It's very strange for Jack to make going for a child-friendly topic. Fish Spish is similar to Jack Starber, being an obscure avant-pop artist with a cult following. In 2017, on one of his songs, We Like Jesus, he asked for help from Jack Starber to make visuals for the music video. With his help, it created a unique music video from his other works and is his most viewed video on their channel. Old Website Art If you look at Jack Starber's Martin website, it seems... self-explanatory. However, a while ago, the original art from the old website surfaced, and it seems pretty colorful, and it seems it's a relic of Jack's old art style and contains drawings that look vaguely similar to the dad from Jack Starber's Opal. Cool. Unofficial merch. Jack has a store where he sells t-shirts and physical releases of his albums, heavily sought after and exploited. Look at those prices. So? Fans could go to other websites and maybe even fans to sell fan merch that could entertain other buyers. And by no means is this bad. I fully support these people and have no hatred towards them. It's just cool to see a whole other market of Jack Starber merch. Only when it's automated does it concern me. Lost 4379 video. Originally, before the 99 song Micropop album was released, the song 4379 was originally supposed to have an accompanying Micropop music video. As he stated in the original Patreon upload of his song, it was having a video in the works. However, the video was nearly seemingly finished or was possibly even scrapped before production. 
It is unknown if any visuals were ever fully finished or made for the video. It's very unlikely that the full video was ever complete, though some bits and pieces of it may have possibly been created and it is possible that they still exist. Some storyboards and sketches of the video could also potentially still be around. Toxic Prom 2017 The Toxic Prom was an event that took place in 2017 at the club Basement Transmissions. This event hosted Juice, a band with Jack being in it, which ended the show with the fan favorite songs Every Day and Drink and Drive. GM Video Announcements the GMVA YouTube channel is a public home to what seems to be school video announcements. What's significant about these video announcements is that Jack Starber was an editor and creator for segments in the announcements. AK AK47, or AK for short, is a Korean YouTube channel that uploads a variety of videos, but two videos pop out on their channel relating to Jack Starber. One being two videos stitched together with a Korean dub and glitched hangul over the second part of the video. But more importantly, the second video is a Frankenstein mix of their visuals, crop jack visuals from now and then, lo-fi hip-hop music, a Korean dub again, and an existential conversation with themselves making a surprisingly good video. I'm a Teenager I'm a Teenager is a now private short film that Jack Starver made on his YouTube channel. It's completely private, but there's a description from a Reddit user, Nate the Great. It's basically lost media. I remember some Jack Stauber lost media. Back when I was first introduced to Jack Stauber a few years ago, in the time frame of a week before Two Time was released, I remember watching all of his videos and listening to his albums. I remember going to his YouTube channel and scrolling down and looking at his older videos. I found two videos. There's a few other ones, but I only remember these two. I don't remember the name of the first one, but the video had text over and his friend on the phone making Bill Cosby jokes and them saying something about chocolate pudding. The second one was called Teenager, and it was a black and white video of snippets and recordings of Jack Stauber saying some pretty teenage, kinda edgy, but not pretty edgy stuff. In all honesty, both of the videos that I saw were kind of bad, and I could see why he didn't want to archive them, or really have them around anymore. Malice Malice is a lost song that Jack released to SoundCloud that was eventually deleted later on. It was first heard from a Reddit post. Later on, Takul, a Discord user, found the cover art via Facebook's embedded data and by doing so confirmed its existence, but the song itself remains lost to this day and is yet to be found. However, there are instances of people talking about it before it was deleted. Malice is either about a satanic ritual or sex. I don't know. I think Malice might be my favorite song by him. I loved that. I'm not downloading SoundCloud. New Hilo trailer. I love Malice https colon slash slash soundcloud.com slash jack stauber slash malice you don't need the app goodbye fishwater and sick furo goodbye fishwater and sick furo is two zine arts that were seen in an instagram post showing off many different zine arts of his the zines were notably seen alongside pop food zines in the video a post on Reddit was later made on late 2019 about the Zines. This eventually led some fans to believe that one of, or even both of the two designs were actually a group of unreleased music of Jax. Fans theorized that it could have possibly been made to release in 2016 considering the album year gap between 2015's Viator and 2017's Pop Food. It would eventually be revealed that it was just some art that was released along Pop Food signs with song lyrics and the now infamously rare Viator CDs. Even after its debunking, it's still a bit of a meme to joke about among the Starper community. And with that, it's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for all the great support on the last video. I may be halting monthly uploads due to a huge project I'm currently working on. So stay tuned. Goodbye.